Hello, 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 techies. You are currently tuning into Tech Talks, and your hosts for tonight are three high school students. Today, we are reviewing the Dell Inspiron 16 Plus. Yeah, so we will look over all the essentials required in a laptop and explain why we choose to rate it as we did. So, without further ado, let's start. Something I really like about this product is its screen. It has a pretty good screen at 16 inches. This is really convenient to like manage tasks. Yeah, I agree. Bright screens make note taking and homework a lot easier. And along with that, this reduces eye strain during late night studying. Yup, and as someone that gets headaches all the time, this feature makes this product ideal for me. Yes, 100%. Also, this laptop has a pretty good touchpad. It's pretty big, which allows for easy navigation between the tabs. Definitely. I also love how easily it allows for upgrades, which allows it to run so smoothly. And not to mention, the Dell Inspiron 16 Plus has swappable M2 SSD storage type. I like that you said that, because I also read that it has a 3K display, which is great for any videos or presentations. Yeah, and I think one of the best parts about this laptop is its battery life. It lasts for more than 13 hours, and that's like two school days. I love that. The processor speed is 2.3 gigahertz, which is pretty good as well. I agree, and I know it doesn't beat Apple's MacBook Pro, but it's a really good speed to start with. But the cost of the MacBook Pro is definitely a bit beyond affordable. Considering pros and cons are really important when approaching any product, especially to figure out how much you'll be spending out of your pocket. Yeah, the Dell Inspiron 16 Plus supports 16 gigs of RAM, which is sufficient to run multiple intensive applications at the same time. Yeah, and as a student speaking on the behalf of other students, I can bet we have a lot of tabs open. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Students also use their laptops for gaming purposes and to complete assignments on a daily basis. Therefore, 16 GB is convenient. Yeah. Also, I heard that there are a lot of access ports. There's a power adapter port for charging and a universal audio jack for speakers, as well as a USB 3.2 Gen 1 port to connect the laptop to the printers with data transfer speeds up to 5 gigabytes per second. Whew, that was a lot. Yeah, but all of these facilities are what come in handy when students have to print papers, especially for like assignments. There is also an HDMI 2 port to connect the laptops to a projector. This makes it a lot easier for presentations. Yeah, that's actually really, really great because we have a lot of presentations for school. I agree. The operating system for this laptop is Windows 11, which means there are ongoing security protections as well. And guess what, guys? We get all that for only $1559.99. I would say that that is an acceptable price for this laptop. But the thing that slightly disappoints me would be the fact that this laptop does not have a touchscreen. Yeah, and I also noticed that when I was playing music that the laptop speakers contain a lot of bass frequencies when connected to a listening device like the headphones. Yeah, I'm happy that you brought that up. The headphone speakers aren't great. But the computer speakers themselves are great, so it makes up for it. True. Another problem that I found was the screen refresh rate. It's only 60 hertz. Yeah, I know there are laptops with higher refresh rates allowing for smoother screen refreshes. So I'm a little bit disappointed on that note. Yeah, I totally agree. Another problem I saw is that the laptop is heavy. It's not recommended for carrying around in schools. It weighs four and a half pounds, which becomes really heavy after a while. Trust me. Personally, I would rate it a 4 out of 5. I took off one point because I'm a bit disappointed that this laptop does not have a touchscreen. It's also on the heavier side, but I still believe that this laptop has a lot of potential. I agree. This is a phenomenal choice for high school students. Thank you, techies, for tuning into our podcast. And keep streaming on Tech Talks all day, every day.